Hey guys, welcome back. You know what's coming. There is a Team of the Week player in this current Team of the Week with an 83 rated guard that has stats of a 90. His pace, shot, passing, dribbling, physical stats, all very, very good. And although the team actually sucked, it wasn't a good team at all. He has the best goal scoring record out of any striker. Well, I guess it is a striker. Well, we'll get into it in just a second. He's got the best goal scoring record out of any inform that I've used currently on FIFA 17. The best cheat in form right here for you guys is a monster drop a like on the video if you're needing ultimate team coins make sure to head over to be for ultimate team coins.com use the code fuji get yourself that nice discount or if you are wishing to purchase games game codes and all that good stuff head over to g and also Use the code Fuji. Let me know if you guessed it. The striker, the makeshift striker that we're taking a look at today is Musa Sal. In real life, he was playing striker and received his inform as a right mid. Little weird there. Maybe EA knew that he'd be slightly too overpowered on 10 chemistry. We were playing him on 6 chem, and I want to show you these stats. The best performing cheap inform striker that I have used on the game so far. Five games, 11 goals, one assist. And you might ask Fuji, where were you playing these games? Games. Was it offline? Was it single play? Was it divisions? It was in the Foot Champions Weekend League against the best players in the world. 19,500 coins and looking at these stats, 87 pace, 86 shot, that right there has sold the card for me. And then to top it off, we have 84 dribbling, 80 physical. He is one of those that can just power his way through the defense. Very nice looking card. And I was using the sniper chemistry style on him, which is going to bring up his shot and dribbling. Not so much though, as he's playing on six chem. So this is where I'm re recommending not the team, the team sucks. You can feel the cheapness in the players. I was just playing it simple, pass and move, and allowing my strikers to turn up. And Musa Sal was able to do that in a poor team. So just imagine what he's going to be like being brought on as a super sub. And that's what I'm going to say to you guys to do. Use your own team and then bring him on maybe at half time or even at the start of the game on 6 chem. I use most of my players on 6 chem anyway, bringing them on during the Foot Champions Week in League. So that's what I'm saying. You're not going to have any difference in game play i was using him on six chem and that's exactly what you guys are going to be doing or build a full chemistry side with him as a right forward let me know how you get on with that if you want to show you show me your teams at me on twitter at fuji 720p yt that is my new twitter make sure you're following it he is just an absolute beast man and some of the goals i'm going to be sharing with you are just easy easy finishes so going through it if you are wanting to build this team please be aware i've already just said that it's not the best performing side you might struggle in the midfield to build up play for me i was just playing it simple michelle warming goal though he's decent Cole drop nice and quick van bick and also Riedewald, those two weren't so bad and then we have Erkin in the defense defensively it wasn't bad it was just the midfield it was very hard to build up as you have players like Sal and Abubakar, you can just skip the midfield and just lob it over the top to them and they have those physical stats and just the pace to latch onto it. So yeah, the midfield is a little bit weak. Um, he, in that camp position, was scoring a couple of goals, just the cheapness in the side, you can really feel it. I, I need to get into the clips though and show you what this guy is about. Only issue is that he doesn't have four-star skills. Personally, I didn't really use it. Well, I, w I couldn't use it with him because he doesn't have four star skills. I wouldn't have even used it. I hardly ever pull off four star skills. I've got to be honest. It's more to do with the LTRT and just uh, maneuvering him like that. Wow, we've got to take a look at this card. Let's jump into the clips. Hope you enjoy. He is going to be bringing the acceleration, the sprint speed, the finishing, the shot power, the dribbling, the physical stats. At first, I was skeptical playing him on six chemistry, and after playing the games, I don't even know why. He was turning up, and I don't really notice the difference between six or t ten chemistry. I would actually put it down to the players that you're using. For example, Ronaldo. If you play him on five chemistry, you won't really notice too much of a difference. Difference, as he already has those high rated stats. If you play someone like Zayek on 5 chemistry, that's where you're going to notice it. He's already an average player, so dropping that down to 5 chem, you're going to feel the hit. With Musa Sal though, we look at the 83 rated card and think, well, he's not really pushing the 90 rating. 
Checking out his actual stats, 87 pace, 86 shot, 84 dribbling, and 80 physical. Those are decent. So even on six chemistry, if they were knocked down a little bit, he's still going to be able to perform in game. And that's what he was doing for me. His pace, the way I was able to burst through in between of uh, um, Kante I came up against. I actually had Mateus and Kante against me in a 4-2-3-1. And in one of those games, I just paced straight through and used his strength just to outmuscle them. And the shots across goal, that's what I'd advise you guys to do if you're running through and you've got that angle just double tap it power up a little bit tap it again and he's going to find the back in there and usually you can't do that with poor uh finishing players so they will hit it wide or they just don't get the right connection behind it and with musa sal playing on six chemistry he was doing that consistently finding the back in there at ease so i would recommend playing him in a team where you're comfortable and you've been using for at least a couple of weeks don't build the team that I was using him in. If you have got a squad that you've played maybe a 4-3-2-1 four, a four, him on 10 chemistry, let me know how you got on with him there. Tweet me at Fuji720P uh, or Fuji720P YT. Sorry, I can't, I can't mistake that because my other one doesn't exist anymore. So it's Fuji720P YT. My Twitter links will be in the description. So just use him as a super sub. Bring him on on six chemistry and you're going to have some fun. One, two, give and goes. That's what I'd recommend. Playing maybe a formation that you're using a cam or another striker up top. And that's where you're going to feel the effect. Just playing the ball over the top to him. Him running in behind and finishing off at ease across goal. And it, I was coming up against Butland, Hugo de Reed, Good quality players and goalkeepers. And they were just was wasn't able to uh, stop him and this is the clip that i was on about look at that i've just run straight through and finished it off past hugo de Reese. just a great great player so let me know your thoughts uh behind musa sal if you've tried him i would say that he is definitely the best performing in form that i've used currently on fifa 17 five games 11 goals that is ridiculous especially in foot champions against some very good players i am thoroughly impressed with what he was able to bring to my team and just how he was performing he can score the simple goals he can score the long shots he's a beast so be careful if you come up against him he's got those stats to destroy so thank you ever so much for watching guys i hope you do go and uh, play with him and and he and you have as much success as i had with him as well so yeah thanks for watching team out Woo.